Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Wolverine Claws. This origami is actually very easy. In this silver model I used a metallic paper. That way I got a slightly more realistic result. But in this video I'm going to show you how to make it with a more common paper. Like in this blue example here. The paper size depends on the size of your hand. I left more information about it in the description. In this video I'm going to use 3 squares of paper of 20 by 20 centimeters. So we'll make it just for one hand, but if you want to make it for both, you'll need six. To make the first piece, our first step is to fold the paper in half along both diagonals. So let's bring one corner to the other. Reinforce very well. Then unfold, and now fold the opposite diagonal. We can unfold this one too. Now, just to make it easier, let's rotate the paper in this position. We'll need to bring the two side corners to the middle by folding these two lines. First the right side. Then the left side in the same way. And this is the result. Now let's repeat basically the same step. So again, let's bring both sides to the middle. We can start again from the right. And repeat on the other side. The paper has already been folded twice. Let's repeat the same step by folding a third time. So, the right side to the middle. And then the left side to the middle as well. Having done that, let's unfold only the last step. Then, just to make it easier, let's rotate the paper. And now, on the right half, we're going to have to mark a sort of a X here. For this, we'll have to bring first the top edge to the middle. Then the same logic on the other side. And we have our little X. Let's turn it over and fold the same X in half. For this, we are going to bring the right side to the left by placing one line on top of the other, leaving everything very well aligned. Then unfold. And turn it over again. We can push the center of the X. And now just close the paper by bringing the right side to the left.
In the end we can reinforce it a little bit. And then we can hold the paper in this position. Now in the larger part, we are going to bring both sides to the middle using the lines we've already made. First the right, then the left, And after that we are going to press the paper to flatten the back. Then down here let's fold this corner up. And up here we're going to bring the edges to the middle by folding these two new diagonals. Let's unfold only the left side. Then we are going to open the left side completely and fold the right side inside this space. Now we can bring the left side back. Then up here, to create a kind of a lock, we're going to have to push this extra paper inside. We have our first piece. Let's make two more. And now pay close attention. Two of these blades are going to be folded like this and the other like this. Let's start with the two that are the same. Let's turn the paper in this position with the back side facing up and down here we're going to fold both sides to the middle. Then we can close this part. And this is the result. We have the first piece and we'll need two like this. Now in the last one, which is a little different, let's hold the paper in this position, now with the front side facing up. Then as before we fold the sides to the middle. Then we unfold and we fold the bottom side in half. To do this, just bring the edge to this existing line here. And then unfold. Ok, now we'll have to close the two corners, like this. Then we'll push the middle part up. Let's reinforce it a bit. Now we have two small flaps.
As the last step, we just need to open it. And we have the third piece. Now it's very easy to fit them together. We are going to take the third piece that we've made and fit it into this space of one of the others, this small pocket. Once that's done, let's fold this line here, making this blade also face forward. And now we have two. Just fit the other one in the other side, following exactly the same logic. Then let's fold it forward as well. And now to create a lock so that the blades don't separate anymore, let's first join the three ends leaving everything well aligned. And then close the part by pulling the paper back. Folding like this. And we have our Wolverine class. Now all we have to do is to fit them between your fingers. And this is the result. If you like this model, you can also vary the sizes or the colors, creating even better results. Also, it's not necessary, but if you want, you can apply glue at the end. I don't see any problem, the important thing is to have fun. I hope you liked this video, if so, I ask you to click like to help, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time!